What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Sector for Nerds. Today, I'm here to rank every single episode of Star Wars The Bad Batch from worst to best. Before we begin, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. In the past, I have ranked all the episodes from Star Wars Rebels and Star Wars The Clone Wars from worst to best as well. First YouTuber to ever do that, by the way. So I figured, you know what, if I could go through Clone Wars, all 100 and whatever how many episodes of The Clone Wars, I can do Bad Batch in a breeze, right? There's 47 episodes, so I'm like, all right, you know what, let's do this. I'm just gonna go from my least favorite episode, work my way up to my favorite, just kind of say a little, you know, couple words about each of them, and then move on. All right, you guys ready for this? It's been a while since we've done this, so without any further ado, here we go. At number 47, Infested. I didn't like this episode, it was about Sid. At number 46, Entombed. This was an absolute filler episode if I've ever seen one. Number 45, Identity Crisis. This one had no Bad Batch in it, just a bunch of kids. Number 44, The Crossing. This one was fine, I mean not much to it other than like a nice Tech and Omega moment. Number 43, Retrieval. The episode that followed The Crossing. Not much better. At number 42, Camino Lost, a season finale that in my opinion wasn't that great. At number 41, Confined, the premiere episode of season 3, it was just about Omega being locked up in a cell. Number 40, Paths Unknown, the episode where Wrecker and Hunter go searching for Omega. Number 39, Bad Territory, the not-so-great Fennec Shand episode. I genuinely spent the last minute and a half looking up what this episode was because I completely forgot it. Number 38, Faster. This was a tech episode, but also a Sid episode. But it does foreshadow that Sid is gonna turn on them. Number 37 and number 36, Spoils of War and Ruins of War. I mean, this was like the two-part opening to season two. It kind of just made sense to put these two together. It's about the Bad Batch going to steal Dooku's war chest and then it all going wrong. Decent episodes. Speaking of decent episodes, at number 35, Juggernaut. This was a short, sweet, and to-the-point episode, and it was all about a Juggernaut. Number 34, Flash Strike. This is where, like, the Bad Batch get to Tantus, and they're, like, running around the jungle and everything. Number 33, Common Ground. This is the one where the Bad Batch go to save that Separatist Senator. Echo was, like, super against it, but then by the end, he's like, you gotta, you gotta save yourself, Senator. Do this for your people. Number 32, Rampage. This is the show that y'all been waiting on. Uh, no, hold on, wrong thing. This is about a baby Rancor. I always enjoyed this one. Number 31, Replacements. This is the one that shows you that Crosshair went full dark side in season one. Number 30, Cornered. This was the good episode with Fennec Shan. At number 29, Into the Breach. This is the one where the Bad Batch finally locate Tantus. Number 28, Decommissioned. The episode where the Bad Batch meet Trace and Rafa, which I personally liked. Number 27, Shadows of Tantus. This is the one where Palpatine shows up and Omega escapes Tantus with the help of Crosshair. And Batcher, don't forget about Batcher. Number 26, Metamorphosis, the episode with the Zillow Beast. Number 25, Pabu. I thought this was a fairly decent episode. Think I liked it more than a lot of other people did, judging by the reactions of the episode at the time. Number 24, Cut and Run. The episode with Cut Laquane. Number 23, A Different Approach. This is the episode where Omega and Crosshair end up getting away from the Empire and they reunite with Hunter and Wrecker. Number 22, The Return. The episode that took place after this where it felt like Hunter and Crosshair were finally able to get back on good terms. Number 21, Point of No Return. The episode where the Empire invades Pabu and Omega gets captured. Again. But it was a good episode. Number 20, Infiltration. This is where we start to see, like, Rex's clone rebellion finally, like, starting to get itself into shape. Well, until that one clone assassin comes in and kind of ruins it. Number 19, Tipping Point. The episode where Crosshair, he doesn't escape Tantus, but he's able to send a message out to the Bad Batch to warn them of what's going on. There's also a nice moment between Echo and Omega because Echo had gone away from the Bad Batch at the time, so seeing them reunite was pretty cool. Omega being able to fly and learn the tech turn, all good stuff. Number 18, The Summit. The episode where we see Bad Batch invade this Imperial meeting that's going on between Tarkin, Krennic, and a bunch of other Imperials. Saw Guerrero was there too, and he ruined everything. Number 17, The Reunion. The episode where the Bad Batch go up against Crosshair, and then at the very end, Cad Bane shows up of all people. It had been so long since we'd seen him. Number 16, Bounty Lost. The episode that was about Cad Bane going up against Fennec Shan. Such a good one. At 15, Devil's Deal. One of the first episodes of the Bad Batch that really had nothing to do with the Bad Batch, but it was so enjoyable because it was about Ryloth 
Sloth, Champ Syndulla, Hera. We got to see little Hera and Chopper. It was great fun. And then episode 14, Rescue on Ryloth, the episode that happened after this, where the Bad Batch end up helping Hera save her parents. Number 13, Return to Kamino. The last time that we ever get to see Bad Batch work as a full team, it literally just dawned on me as I was saying those words just now. At number 12, Plan 99, the episode where Tech dies. Son of a gun. <sighs> Why? At number 11, War Mantle. This was the Gregor episode. Big fan of Gregor, especially from Rebels. At number 10, The Outpost. This was a big turning point for Crosshair's character. They had a similar episode like this for Agent Callus in Star Wars Rebels. At number nine and number eight, The Clone Conspiracy and Truth and Consequences. I am normally not a big fan of Senate episodes, and if you go back and watch the video where I rank all the Clone Wars episodes, you will see this. But I really enjoyed these two episodes. Getting to see the state of the Senate in like this Imperial era, and we get to see you know, them talking about something that I actually care about, and that's the clones. And getting to see Senator Chuchi stand up for these guys and try to give them the proper send-off that they deserve, like, it was great. And it just made it that much more heartbreaking than at the end when frickin' Palpatine showed up and kinda ruined everything. Number seven, The Calvary Has Arrived, the series finale of The Bad Batch. Lived up to expectations, had a good ending, and left you wanting more. What more can you say? Number six, Extraction. I love this episode solely because of the last two minutes of it. And that's because of the stuff that we get between Rex and Wolf. I did think that it was gonna play into the finale episode, but it didn't, is what it is. We were just planting the seeds here though. At number five, Aftermath. The series premiere of The Bad Batch felt like a movie, like a mini-movie. Number four, The Solitary Clone, the episode with Commander Cody. By the end of it, we get to see that Cody realizes that the Empire all isn't what he thought it was going to be, and so it really makes you curious about where that story's gonna go next. At number three, Tribe. I was a really big fan of this episode, given the Wookiee Jedi that was in it. I enjoyed that arc of Clone Wars with the younglings all getting their lightsaber crystals, so getting to see one of them back, is, it was super cool. I love the relationship between him and Omega as friends. I loved the lore that we got surrounding Kashyyyk in that episode. It was all just absolutely fantastic. At number two, The Harbinger, the Asajj Ventress episode. I had a gut feeling that when Ventress showed up that this was going to be a really good episode. Even though they didn't necessarily explain how she survived the events of Dark Disciple, regardless of that, I thought this was a fantastic episode. Getting to see her teach Omega about the Force, her having one of the best fights in the whole show. What am I talking about? It's the best fight scene in the entire show between her and the three members that are there of the Bad Batch. And at number one, my, for my favorite Bad Batch episode, Battle Scars. This is the episode in season one where Wrecker's chip goes off and he becomes like the villain of the episode. I really enjoyed this because this was something that they had been building to throughout the first half of season one, and then we finally got it, and it felt like we were dealing with such a massive threat because of how, like, big and tough and jacked Wrecker is. It was very scary. And then at the end, when they do finally rescue him, and he apologizes to Omega, and he says, like, I tried to stop myself, and it just, oh, the feels. And it was also the first episode that we got Captain Rex in the show, so good stuff. Okay, I guess there was the hologram in the previous episode, but we didn't know that at the time, and they didn't actually show his face, so this was really the first time. So yeah, you guys, I believe that is going to conclude my list today for all my favorite episodes of Star Wars The Bad Batch. Let me know what your favorite episodes of the show are and why, and be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share this video with others to help support the channel, and I will see you guys next time.